Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. And uh, as you can see by my, my chef's hat, I'm doing some cooking today. Now, uh, some of my friends might uh, think I, I make interesting recipes, but uh, we're not gonna be including any, any wiener dogs in today's recipe, although uh, he might be willing to eat some leftovers. But he's not on the menu today. No, today, um, my wife kind of told me, yeah, well, not really at the last minute, but we knew, we knew we were supposed to have some friends over the other day and they canceled, and then she said they were coming over on Monday, but then uh, it got changed to today, which is Sunday. So I was supposed to barbecue, and I, I have a, uh, not a big green egg, but a Kamado-style barbecue. So if any of y'all all are familiar with those, it takes a little while to get it going, and everything you cook on there takes a little little bit of time. Well, my wife wanted to make a brisket, which I love, and she went out and picked up a brisket, but she picked up this monster eight pound, eight pound brisket here. I don't know where she got this thing. Well, they make much larger briskets, but anyway, uh, an eight pound brisket's gonna take about 12 hours for me to cook on my, on my, it's called a, um, Bubba keg, big steel keg, Bubba keg. It's a, it's a stainless steel uh, Kamado style grill. It's the same as a big green egg or acorn. There's lots of them out there. It's very similar. But that thing is all about cooking low and slow and taking your time. So it would take about 12 hours. So she picked this up this morning at about nine. So that would mean we'd be eating at nine o'clock tonight. And uh, I decided to try a recipe cooking this brisket in the oven. All right, so. Some of y'all may disagree with me, but uh, it's gonna take about six hours to cook it in the oven by 12 hours on my Bubba keg. So, my wife won this uh, set of barbecue spices or cooking spices here. I don't know a whole lot about them, but I'm thinking this Cajun one right here looks like it might be the way to go. Let's see, all-purpose seasoning for spicy Louisiana style. Rub on chicken, fish, and steak before grilling, broiling, or pan searing. What do you think? Should we give this one a try? I'm not going to put cinnamon on it. I don't know what sandwich sprinkles are. Pizza, definitely not it. Chicken and fish. Let's take a look at what this one says here. Mural of flavor. Uh, oh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up both of these here and try them out here. This one says it's a prime rib rub. Looks like I got, looks like I got some cooking to do. So let me take a look at which one of these I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on here. And then uh, I found, where is it at here? Oh, I found this great big roasting pan, which looks like that thing might, oh, yeah, that's gonna fit in there, it looks like. And I got some beef stock. I'll put some of that in the bottom. We'll throw in the oven and see how she see how she turns out. Oh yeah, I'm still working on the damn ants around here. They're, they're uh, the ants are slowing down around the house, but we still got them. So I think I'm winning the war. God dang ants! All right, I'll come back to you in a bit. So I decided I would use this. Uh, Cajun seasoning. Let me get a focus on here. Come on now. Man, it's not focusing for crap. Anyway, so I used that, seasoned up the meat, put it in this giant roasting pan. I added, I added this whole thing full of beef stock here, put about a half an inch in the bottom. Got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and put her on in there. Let's see, I got no place to put this. Well, let's see if we can hold on here. I'm gonna give you a little ride into the oven. So I'm gonna cook her in there for about, let me see here. Let's do a timer. Jesus. 
We're gonna cook it for about an hour in there without the top on it. And you like the wiener dogs? Salt pepper shakers. All right, so I'll get that thing set for an hour. And then um, I'll take a look at it and I'll throw the lid on it maybe for about, I don't know, four or five more hours. We'll see how it turns out. I never made a brisket in the oven. So I'll be back at you in a bit. And what goes good with uh, with cooking? Well, I'll show you what goes good with cooking here. Some, some fine Colorado whiskey here. Stranahan's, made in Colorado. Thank you to my brother-in-law and my sister for always keeping me in supply of Stranahan's. And then also while I'm cooking, I was using my, uh, my apron that my sister made here. Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. She made this for me, so I was wearing that as well. So I just wanted to give a big thank you to my, my sister and my brother-in-law in Colorado. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything you do for me. And uh, whenever you get them parts in on that uh, Willis Jeep, let me know. I'm going to be on my way out there. All right, so it's been, it's been an hour. It's been an hour cooking in here, 350 degrees with the, uh, with the lid off. So we're going to go ahead and put the lid on it. Oh. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to pull it out. Pull it out and drop it down one. I guess I should have checked that, but uh, let's reduce this down to 300 degrees. I'll pull it out. Drop the rack down a notch. Put the lid on it, and I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like one o'clock. I think we're having people over at about six. So I guess I'll cook it about five hours, and we'll see how it turns out. And if they gotta wait, well, that's what I got the whiskey for. So I will take care of that and we'll come back at you here when she comes out. There you go. As you can see, I got it dropped down. She's in there, 300 degrees. See you in a few hours. So as you see on the uh, motorcycle lift here, there's been some changes in my global domination headquarters. While I was cooking the brisket, I got a uh, text. Someone contacted me and was interested in purchasing the uh, Honda Pacific Ghost, Pacific Coast Space Ghost. So they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Gave me a stack of $20 bills and took home the uh, wonderful 1989 Honda Pacific Ghost Space Coast. And I got a little bit more room in my garage here, this little area here, which uh, the scooter was sitting in while the uh, Space Ghost sat over there. It is now open. So, I don't know what's gonna happen next in the garage, but the, uh, the kitchen is smelling amazing. That brisket is cooking up in the oven. Now, like I said, I would normally not cook a brisket in the oven, but I don't know. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. It's smelling really good. Um, put that Cajun rub on there, and uh, I think it's going to turn out just fine. Obviously, you know, as a man's man, I do like to cook on fire outside, but, you know, when you have to, the oven's going to work okay for that sort of stuff. And uh, I do like... I have a big sweet tooth, so I do like using the oven. I cook a lot of desserts, so I'm not afraid. Not afraid of cooking on the oven when I have to. In the meantime, though, while I'm waiting for that to cook and waiting for our guests to show up, I've been enjoying some of that, that uh, Stranahan's Colorado whiskey that uh, my brother-in-law and my sister were nice enough to give to me. And I've been looking on Craigslist because, uh, you know, I got this open area right here where another, another project could come into my garage. I do like projects. Not that I don't have enough of them already as is. Um, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's time to uh, get cracking on this little fella right here. 
I'm gonna take that out, share it with y'all. My Honda Trail 90 Frankenstein project. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna go in here and enjoy some more, some more of my whiskey and uh, smell this brisket cooking up. So I'll, uh, in the middle of this somewhere here, I'll, I'll pop up a picture of the uh, lucky new owner of the 1989 Honda Pacific Coast. Friend? That's it. There we go. We got the brisket out of the oven here. It's been, I don't know, six hours. It's uh, And this thing doesn't focus for crap, but we got about 210 degrees. Maybe it's even a little bit overdone, but we're going to cut it up and check it out. We'll see how she turns out. All right, so we had some people over, and uh, we ate about half of that brisket. It turned out pretty good. Um, maybe I uh, actually overcooked it a little bit um, because it was a large brisket and I didn't know how long to cook it in the oven for. If I was to do it again, maybe I would drop the temperature 275 or so or cook it a little bit less. Uh, it, was, it was very tender, but maybe a little bit overcooked. And of course, if I, if I had the time, I would have cooked it on my uh, on my barbecue, but you know, everything doesn't always work out the way you want it to in life. And uh, all things considered, we uh, ate, uh, four of us ate an eight pound brisket down. And I'd say we probably got about half of it left. So we, we ate a lot of brisket. Don't get me wrong, it was good. Um, but there you have it, that's my, that's my adventure for the day, cooking the brisket in the oven. Uh, I would prefer to have done it on the barbecue. But it's uh, going on eight o'clock at night. Our dinner guests went home happy and full and we had a pretty good day. Better than our last time we had people over. Last time we had people over, freaking skunk attacked our dogs. <laughs> Now there's an adventure I don't wanna don't wanna repeat, but I'll tell you what, we still got still got the uh, Nature's Miracle skunk thing still sitting right here. I saw it just a, just a few minutes ago. So we're ready if the skunks come back. But thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.